We're, We're back. back. Last year we were here at Oak Alley RV Resort in Webster, Florida. We're back again this year because last year they were still under construction. They're still under a little bit of construction right now. But last year the amenities weren't complete. Um, there were sites available and they were still more that were going to be done, but a lot of the amenities weren't finished yet. Now most, well all the amenities are done and most of the sites but they are still adding on to the back of the park. They're adding even more sites, which was not planned to be done until I think next year. They've had such a great volume of business coming in that they've gone ahead and, and added those sites. So, so stick around, we're gonna show you. The amenities and, and what's been done compared to what it was last year. did a video here last year and that was more of a drive-through where we showed you all the sites and how, how big, big the sites were they were and just to recap most of the sites here are or I guess all the sites here are at least a typical site and a half um, the ones around the outside are even bigger than that so the sites here guys are huge um, you're not right on top of your neighbor that's for sure no for sure you're not and uh, they're all really level so if you want to see like more specific the sites and the drive through of the park oh and the roads are all paved here so that's that's a nice thing and they've done a good job with the draining so water doesn't puddle because we've in been Florida, in some rain this week and it, it's it rains dried up pretty fast <laughs> so if you're looking for that type of video check the link uh we'll link last year's video so you can see that but today we want to focus on amenities because last year when we were here most of the sites were kind of done, but not... None of the amenities were like done. Like the pool wasn't finished and things like that. So we, we posted the video with a great things to come. And then this year when we got here... Here they are. Here they are. And we still love this park. So today we want to show you all the things that just make it even better than it was last year. So as you can see, we are at the nice heated 85 degree pool that then, wasn't here. Over on that side, there is a small hot tub, which of course is also heated. Um, they the hot have, tub is heated? Yeah. They have tons of chairs here. They have a fire pit. So a lot of times in the evenings, just kind of a um, visitor generated, people will meet up here around the fire pit and bring their own snacks and drinks and hang out. And One they, night there was music here. We sat down and listened to a one-man band. Had, he played the saxophone and he did some singing and they had some dancing going on. So. Right. And then they also have a lot of activities here, guys. So planned activities that you can sign up for in advance. Um, I don't know how the, if they're making any money off of them. Like one afternoon they had hot dogs and bratwurst and it was a dollar per, like if you wanted a hot dog, it was a dollar or a brat or both or whatever. And so they were cooking that out here so you could eat and hang out by the pool. Um, they did all kinds of fun stuff like that. They had a taco day one day for lunch and you just sign up and pay and you show up and everybody gets to know one another. So this is one of the amenities, one of the many amenities at Oak Alley. I almost forgot to mention one of the coolest things at the pool is Big Alligator. Rawr. He's so cool. Something that was complete last year was this huge pickleball facility, but there weren't enough people here last year because the park wasn't complete to really see a ton of people playing. And now they're filled all the time. Every, every morning you can hear the pickleballs going. Absolutely. So they actually have a resident pickleball pro That's who's me. here. That's me. It's definitely not. Oh. <laughs> but she does lessons, like, I want to say every morning. That's probably wrong. But she does lessons, kind of an open group thing in the mornings. And then from there, kind of, um, I don't know that it's tournament style play. But there's, when you come here in the morning, there's three, six, nine, twelve pickleball courts. And they are all in use. And then there's people standing over here waiting for their turn. So, so if you're a pickleball player, this is your place. Here. So we're right in the middle of the two sand volleyball courts which it's time for some beach volleyball if you know jimmy it's really hard for him to stand in the sand he <laughs> hates sand but i'm standing on a block this is kind of the end of the amenities 
around the clubhouse. They also have, though, not really exciting. I mean, I guess if you're here full time, it would be. Um, they have their own post office here, so you can have your own P.O. box. So if you need to check your mail and there's nobody working because they are open in the middle of the day, um, you can come check your P.O. box whenever you want. Or if you need to have a package delivered, you can certainly do that. And they have a laundromat. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They have a change machine, and they also have the little machine where you can buy detergent and fabric softener, so that's always a plus. And, and right outside of the dog park, in the laundromat, they thought of another thing for you. Ice. They have an ice machine, a huge commercial ice machine. That wasn't what I was machine. talking about. Oh, well, they have a huge commercial ice machine, so yeah. like you could fill your cooler, it's free. And ice is free. But inside the laundromat, you can wash your dog's pillows Oh, yeah. all your dog stuff so they have two washers and two dryers that are designated for like dog pillows blankets that kind of thing so that people that don't have dogs and don't want dog hair all over their stuff um they don't have to worry about that so we've used that as well to wash our dogs blankets and things while we were here so that's also a cool amenity grant really did think of a lot when he um developed this area develop this place but and one of my favorite things at this park and it may seem silly to a lot of you but as a dog owner my favorite thing and i've never seen it any in any other park is the dog washing station so i know you know we travel with three dogs two of which are bigger so that makes it hard to bathe them in the camper so and one of them's elderly so it has steps up to it so it was easy to get her in and out and it's just an awesome thing. I'm glad he thought of it. But let's run inside and see if we can get some footage in the clubhouse if it's not too busy so you can kind of see what the inside of that's all about. So now we're in the clubhouse and if you can see this huge bulletin board behind us, it's full of different- All the activities that's going on. And the activities that are going on in the park, whether it be like a breakfast or a lunch or ice cream social, they're all you know here on the board. If you need to sign up, there'll be a sign up sheet there. And then a lot of the local area attractions, restaurants, fun things to do in the area also have cards up on the bulletin board. So this is kind of entertainment social, if you will, if there's central, if there's something you want to know about that's going on, this is where it's going to be. So make sure you sign up for whatever you're trying to get. They're doing ballroom dancing as a thing they're teaching right here. We haven't signed up, but I just thought it was kind of neat. Just a side note, because you guys know I think certain things are cool. When you first walk into the clubhouse, that's where we are now, they have this huge oak slab from a 28 million year old white oak tree. How cool is that? It's almost old as you are. Almost. Kind of a side room. Um, the big meeting room is on the other side and the entrance is here. But they have all kinds of different stuff going on here every, every day. They have books, they have videos, um, CDs, DVDs, whatever. Um, there's always several puzzles out on the table. They have the diamond dots on here, um, different card games. So if you're looking for something to do, whether it's something by yourself or even with other people, there's a, and books, lots of books over there. There's I'm all not kinds of. Books. Well, I'm not. I'm not much of a reader, but anything that you could think that you you know maybe want to do, or it's a great place to either come and hang by yourself or come and meet other people that have like interests. This is a, a nice little room that they have. This is kind of the central room of the clubhouse. So if you can see, I don't know what you can see in the windows behind me, but the pool's out back. This is the area when they have any group functions, like the ballroom dancing that I was talking about, the ballroom dancing lessons. Uh, they have some meals here. This is the room. Also, if you can see up on the wall right there, they have the bingo board. They do bingo certain nights a week. And then a lot of evenings, there'll be groups in here, not organized, just individual groups that show up that are doing different card games and um, the Mexican train, that kind of thing. So this is kind of the central hub for everything. Since we've been here, I want to say one day a week, they have lunch um, here. It's, again, something on that big bulletin board that you sign up for. They had a chili lunch one day. They had tacos one day. They had biscuits and gravy for breakfast on Saturdays. So it's just different things you can sign up for. Nothing's cost more than $5 a person. And this room will be packed. So it's a great opportunity to get to meet other people that are here. Um, we just want to kind of recap and tell you guys that we did just want to share the amenities this time. We shared the sites and that kind of thing from last time. So I want you to take a quick look at the progress that's been made from last year when we were here to this year. So the last time we were here, I know we've mentioned before that a lot of things still weren't complete. The loop we were parked in was pretty much the only loop that had any RVs in it. This side was open, but a lot of it's still under construction. So we brought you up to the roof today to show you how many RVs are here now.
how cool is that? So if you haven't checked out, if you haven't checked out Oak Alley RV Resort in Webster, Florida, you should check it out. You don't want to miss it. No, I'm good. <laughs> How was that? I'm better now.